Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? It's a beautiful day here in Maine, and I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are, too. But we're crafting, so how can it not be a super gorgeous, beautiful day, even when you're crafting? Hello from New Zealand. Yay! Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So today, it's not the full release we're looking at. Um, I will show you what I got um, in my package um, to share with you from the release today. Sorry, Emery's playing with my leg um, with claws. Um, so if you hear me move or jump quickly, that's it. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> hello, hello. So we're going to have some fun today looking at the products that just came out. Oh, it's scorching. And I can imagine it's scorching in Texas. Oh, hello, hello. How is it in Italy? Is it, it's evening. So is it nice and cool? Oh, they got gloomy in San Fran. We got sun and it's warm and perfect laundry weather. It's terrific. So, all right. And I'm crafting with you guys. So how can I get better? I don't think so. So let's get crafting. <laughs> we'll head on over down to the workspace so that we can get started and check out all of these beautiful things. Okay. So the ones that I have and what we'll probably work with today, we have Han behind the badge today. So please say a hello to her. Uh, they're uh, posting the um, information about uh, being entered for a chance to win a $15 gift certificate if you share this today. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're here as well, even if it's hot. I'm glad you're here. Hot, cold, in between. Happy to be crafting with you. <laughs> so all the love and hugs out to everybody. Um, so today I kind of have a random list because I didn't know where we were going to go. I love it when you guys have input into what we're going to do during the day. So that's what I thought we'd go with. So I do want to use this one today. I thought this would be a fun one to do. Kind of maybe we'll spoof a little bit on a card created by our very own Aram Tazneem. She had made a really cool card by making these. She did artist markers. We're going to do some ink blending. But she die cut them out and kind of arranged them on the card front. So I thought maybe we'd do something like that with that. This one, oh, the second I saw it, I had these types of chairs on my um, wedding cake. So I was so stoked uh, the second I saw this one. So it's got some really kind of beachy, and I love the shells. Um, the shells really pulled me in too. So, and look, we can have our tunes on the beach. How cool is that? So, and that's going to die set as well. I don't know if I showed you. This one has a die behind my um, stencil. And I'm not sure. I don't think I got the die in my package. Um, I just realized that. But we can fussy cut. <gasps> fussy cut. Oh, no. But we can fussy cut some out to do what I was talking about. Um, so, yeah. But I love this. I love that we have the stencils. So, oh, wow. It's cloudy out there, you guys. We have some clouds, but the sun is peeking out pretty good. We forget in Maine what it looks like here. We're kind of like Seattle a lot of times where it's overcast and no sun. So it's nice to see it poke out to remember what it is. Oh, yeah. Let's go old school. We're going to rock the fussy cutting. Woot, woot, as my mom would say. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you guys are sharing. 15 bucks goes a long way, you guys. And there's so much fun stuff. So then we'll probably do one with this. Uh, maybe we'll mimic this little card here. I do have the dies for this one. And then this, this probably is my favorite. I, it just makes me smile. I don't know what it is about puns and smiley faces. I'm in. Like, I am super stoked. So, um, yeah, you guys will see a fun card that makes me smile coming very, very soon with this set. And I just kept, because I put, I repackaged all of mine. Whoa, 106. Holy shnike. That is toasty. Make sure you drink plenty of water and stay in the shade. We don't want any problems. Stay hydrated. We love you all. From Altenew, we love you all. So take care if you're in a very hot climate. Hello, Ms. Avril. Um, so I kept, I just trimmed this off the packaging and put it in my package. So I have it so I can build an assortment of fruits. How fun is that? So and I'm a little fruity, so <laughs> it's right in there. You like those leaves, don't know what they're called. Oh, the Monsteras, these ones, Sue, were these the ones you were thinking of? Monsteras in quotes. I call them Mr. Monster. 
in my own mind because it just is the way it works. So, <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we will use those today. But those are what we're going to do some fussy cutting. And I'm going to have to order those dies. I didn't realize I didn't have, I thought I had the dies. Okay. This one is super cool. The Linear Life Tropical Garden. Hi, April. Some really, really uh, fun. Oh, <laughs> rogue cat. Um, some really fun projects with this one. And again, I just trim off the packaging, some of these layering guides, just so I know what to do. And this one, as you can see, hot foil plate. Woohoo! So very exciting. Um, and they're all individual. Plus, you have the dies that you can cut them out with. So we will probably just, if we do this one today, we'll probably just use the dies in that. But please know there is um, a foil set for it. I believe I have some already foiled. Let me look in the bucket. Oh, wonder. Really, let me take a quick peek. I know I foiled some of those and I don't think I used them. Do you guys have a bucket of wonder out there? Oh, you're not on the hot foiling yet? Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's a fun, it's a dark journey because you go down and once you have one hot foil plate, you can't stop hot foiling. I have to warn you. Is that what you guys out there too? Do you guys have the same problem once you start hot foiling? You cannot stop hot foiling? You want to hot foil everything? Let me know in the comments. I would like to know if you guys are on the hot foil band. Oh, you're on the hot foiling fence. Okay. All right. Well, don't stick your foot on the machine if you're on the fence. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Lots of laughs and puns today. My bucket oh wonder. Yes, I have a couple buckets oh wonder. Um, and they come in handy sometimes. I know my friend Ann calls hers a magic cup, I think. Um, so lots of different names for those places that... Um, hold all of the wonderful things that we haven't used yet. Um, like one of the releases, we had the hot foil circles. I just haven't cut them out yet, but the rainbow, 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 rainbow. So yeah, those I will definitely use. I just have been quite honestly, too lazy to cut them out. <laughs> we really tell it like it is here. Tell it like it is. All right. So I think what we're going to do yeah, it's, and Nancy, that's the thing, you know, if it's something you don't think you're going to do um, a lot of hot foiling, it's something you definitely want to think about because it is an investment, like everything. And we always want our stuff in our space to do like double, triple, quadruple duty, right? Because it's an investment in these supplies and we use them again and again. And I think that's the great thing about the virtual workshops and the lives. Oh, I know. Yes, I both of them today are just on Screech the Cats. Um, so they may pop up again. It's you never know. Um, but that's the great thing about these lives and the virtual workshops is you get to see the products and then you get to see how others are using them. And it may not be the way that you use them in your space but it might inspire you to use them differently in your space. So, all right. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we'll start with the Mr. Monster, as I call him, the Monsteris in quotes. Oh, goodness. I have lots of different names for the little things. Oh, I know the sentiment. The second I saw the sentiment, I'm like, yep, I don't know what is even on there. Like, I didn't even see that it was a... Uh, Monstera image. I'm like, yep, I'm in. <laughs> so you guys know with quotes. Oh yeah, some of the quotes. Okay. We have, I'm sending thoughts and prayers your way. Hang in there and I know that I am here for you. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Uh, uh, that applies a lot to me. Uh, you are amazing for facing this with so much courage. Please know that you are thought of and loved. Always uh, know how often I think of you, always. Never let the things you want make you forget the things that you have. Uh, take good care always. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Always do your, do your best always, I'm sorry. I'm reading from the bottom up for some reason. <laughs> take care, never give up. Don't let yesterday take too much time from today. That's another really good one. The best view comes after the hardest climb and take the risk or lose the chance. So, and then of course, hello, see you, thank you. So some good ones. Yeah, and that's the thing. You'll know the right time. 
I know the want have quote. That's oh, all of these are like I can apply them like on different days. Like they all apply. It, it just yeah. Like if even if you're not like a I'm a sentiment gal. Even if you're not like how can you all oh, these sentiments. Um, but yeah, the hot foiling definitely think about it. You know, and if it's not for you, that's okay. Because we want you to love the stuff that you buy and invest in. We don't want you to just you know, buy stuff you're not going to use and then miss out on something you really, really, really love. I know Alt New always has quotes, though, that pull my pull my heartstrings, I've found. Um, there are some quotes uh, sometimes you see on, on cards and you're like, oh, come on, that's a little silly. But that's the thing I love about Alt News is they always, always just kind of strike a a place in my heart and I can remember a time that it was kind of really appropriate in my life or it really, they bring back memories, I guess is the best way to say it. And I really didn't need to put these so far apart because I am going to fussy cut them. But yeah, these are super, super applicable. Yes. I love the sentiments. Love the sentiments. All right. And I'm using pure graphite because um, if I use obsidian it's going to take a scotch longer to dry and i'm okay for a little dry time but i don't want to have too much dry time because we're limited here as you guys know i would craft with you for forever because it's just so much fun all right and hopefully i stamped all of them. well close all right we'll go with it but yeah and you can even if you want to color with your artist markers all right, here we go. First right hand turn. I say I don't mean to do them, but do I? I don't know. Okay, oh, I guess that's the second, the graphite ink. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I pulled some artist markers. I just wanna show you something in case you did not know this. And we could do this with all of them. Um, Aram had actually used the artist markers, but I will show you, I'll just do this one and then the rest, or I'll do this. I'll do this little one that didn't stamp well. But you can use, because these are alcohol-based and the inks are water-based, you can use them together, okay? So I can come in and my ink is not going to mess up. So it's not going to pull my ink. It's not going to mess up my ink. I can just come in and I can color. And the water-based dries super-duper fast. So just so you know... Yeah, and um, I did that, uh, my project for the release, I did a background with the Monsteras all over the back, and then I cut out and I made a shaker card with one, and then I used, I reused the shaker bits, because you can't leave those shaker bits, that's just, I think that's a law, if you have something that can be made into a shaker card, I think you have to legally, by the crafter's code, I think. I may have forgotten that, but I'm pretty sure it's in the craft code. All right. And then, so I'm going down Emerald Lagoon, Volcano Lake. And then at the tips, I will just use a scotch of the mountain mist. And if I'm going out of the lines, it's okay. I just wanted to show you that if you want to use your artist markers, and you can use them with any of the, I think we have over 150 inks now in our of the addition of the last ones i used to know the number and then the jewel tones and the frozen delights came out and i've lost the number i think it's 142 i think but could be more okay so see my ink did not pull there i'm out of the lines <laughs> hello miss Anne marie how are you hello hello I know we can't have the alt new police after us if we break a crafty code. Um, so yeah, so we have to finish and use those shaker bits. So I don't do shaker cards often either. Um, but yeah, so see this didn't pull. There's no smearing. So just just a tip, kind of, and it kind of took us off off kilter a little bit. But when on our crafty adventures do we not go off kilter a little bit? All right, and then. I took out the stencil to show you guys. I was just like, oh, goodness. I know I had the stencil. Oh, gosh. I might have the uh, crafty police after me for disorderly conduct, meaning I my desk is a mess. How many of us out there would get, um, I know, 
How many of us out there would get fined for disorderly conduct for a messy desk? Let's go with that question. Let's pose that question to the audience here. I'm going to go with icy water and winter lake from Northern Shores for my inks. So what all you do is you see each of these shapes lines up with the two. So they're sectioned off. Okay, when you see these swigglies, think of section, section, a big fine. Oh, good. When you think of that, think of the section. Okay, so each section is different. So you got to be careful when you're ink blending. Don't go too wild. If you go too wild, hello from New Zealand. Hello, hello. Don't go too wild. I get too out of control and I get all over the place with my ink blending. So um, it's one of those, I'm good at the do as I say, not as I do. Because I, you know, satin masking tape would be lovely here. It would be super duper helpful. And I have it right here. Am I going to put it down? No. <laughs> Is there? Oh, good. Oh, good. So I won't be alone in the crafty jail for disorderly conduct or alone paying my fine at the crafty. Uh... <laughs> we have messy desks. Messy desks unite. Yay. All right. So I'm just coming in with my icy water. I'm trying to put it so I can move my stencil. There we go. Right there. Put it right there. Oh, <laughs> There's no way in the world. Oh. <laughs> and sorry, another fur. Okay, I only have two, but you'd be surprised because they show up quite frequently. So another question for you guys, I like to do each layer that I have. Meaning if I have seven, I think this one looks like a heart, this little monstera or my little monsters, as I call them. Um, this one looks like a heart to me. So I go do all the heart pieces, okay? And then I move on to the little the little fella here. Oh, got to orient him right. Um, do you guys do that? Do you guys do it in sections or do you like to complete a whole project first before moving on? How do you guys like to do it out there? I know these, I love these, um, the mini ones. It feels like holding a pencil. It's just super comfy and I really like it. You could also, if you wanted to use, you can use your stencils with your artist markers if you want to. Uh, you would just want to clean them off with, I use the alcohol prep pads um, or alcohol wipes uh, in the time we're living in. And I should have used, I'm going to do this and then come back. I should have used the die. If I had the die, I would have placed the die down because the stem of my Monstera is a little, a little flibbity. And so it didn't line up perfectly, but that's fine. I can just wiggle my stencil around. No worries. No worries at all. Okay. Yeah. One card and then do mass production. I, I just, I feel like if I don't do all the same layer the first time, it, like if I went, say I did this one and then I went in with my winter lake because I use the same brushes, I'd have to wipe it off because I don't want the dark ink on the other areas. And so I, I like to finish all of one before I move on to the next, but I will do so now because I finished on this big guy with the tail, the big tail guy, we'll call him. Um, I'm going to do that first with the next layer. So we got little tail guy, which is up under the insignia. We got big tail fella. And so we're just going to slide and see it matches. Can you see how the, the shape matches? So you just slide it up. There's no fidgeting because the position you just had it in is the same one you're going to have. So see, you were just like this. And then you can just slide up and you're just like that. So I'm going to go ahead with my winter lake. And we're going to make it dark, 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 dark. Blue's my favorite. I pulled blues and yellows for today. I really, really do. I pull them all the time, but I love them. I just love them. And, you know, the thing is, so you can always go back, get your orientation, okay, and then just slide back down. 
But, you know, I don't, with ones like this that are kind of, I call them abstract, you're not really going to notice, you know, if you go out of the lines a little bit. It's okay. I was a little off center. That's all right. Okay. And then this fella, this guy. Okay. We only had one of him because I, the other one I showed you the artist marker on. Now you could color, you could color. Of course, I don't have the lagoon and coordinating inks over here, um, but you could color with artist markers. And then if you wanted to, now this may look a little funny. I don't know because I'm using blue on here, but you could come in. Oh, it doesn't look bad. See, so you can come in on your artist markered ones and add some ink. So that's another option. Try to do a range at a time. Yeah, because otherwise I sometimes too, <laughs> I'll put the wrong color in the wrong place. If I have too much, too many going on, I will put the wrong color in the wrong place rapidly. Okay, and then I'm just going to bring this down. And there we go. It's that center. So I'm lining up the little bump right here. There's a bump that indentation and then we'll put a lot of blue on there and this I think would look fabulous with uh, a spicy yogurt of course because it's got those little cinnamon flecks in there that I think are just absolutely gorgeous and just add you know a little bit of something something to your project um, and you don't have to do anything that's the part that I really really like okay there we go I'm gonna get my little bump lined up there and, oh, I inked myself. I'm blue. <laughs> uh, I won't sing the Leanne Rhymes song. <laughs> I'm, I'm shouting out my age now. Do you remember when that song came out? It's been a hot minute. Now, the other thing is, when I do fussy cutting, this is 120-pound cardstock. I don't like to do that with fussy cutting. If I'm doing fussy cutting, I generally like to do like a 65 um, pound one. Yes, Yvette, I've been, I love these leaf ones because you can really do anything with them. There are just so many options. All right, so I am doing what I call super speed fussy cutting. And if it's a little off, that's okay. At least you guys get the idea but I totally didn't realize that I didn't have the dies for these. So I apologize about that. But, and you could go in and cut out all the little pieces. If I was, I like to do this sitting in front of the television for my fussy cutting. So if I was doing it that way, I would take the time, I would go slow and I would fussy cut all the little areas, but we're not doing that. So there's our first one. All right. Okay. So this one, you can go up if you want to in there and then around. And you could, if you wanted to, you could just do masks and do that. But I liked, the thing I really loved about Aram's card was the uh, dimension that she had on it by coloring these, die cutting them, and then arranging them on the top. So it just adds a little bit of something. Okay, and then cut that there. I like to cut these little pieces that move. My fussy cutting is going to be horrible, but that's okay. That's okay, you guys get it, you guys know. I, yeah, I usually call it cranky cutting. And it was funny because um, I was in a class with Lydia once and she goes, oh, she goes, when you said cranky cutting, I thought you meant like the die cut machine because you turn it. And I was like, oh no, I call it cranky cutting because it makes me cranky sometimes if I, because my luck, I always get to the end and, you know, a cat jumps on my head or somebody knocks on the door and I miss something and I'm like, no. And at that point you've cut it, you've colored it. So usually what I do is I just tuck it behind something. But the reason the, the 110 pound card stock is really not the best for this because it doesn't, it doesn't give you, 
Yeah. So, nope. The dies, it doesn't give you. Um, so here are the dies, die cut. So it goes out around the edge. It doesn't go into the center. It just goes around the edge, but it gives that beautiful curve and indentations where they would go in. So that's how they die cut out on there. Um, and Aram's card was, it was similar to this idea where you pop them up and you have dimension, but check that out on the, um, on the, uh, blog hop. It was just, oh, I love those cards where you just pop up some leaves though with dimension and the sentiment because they're really good for any occasion. I mean, leaves, I think even a sympathy card can be good for. Oh, my train of thought. Here we go. This is how it goes in my brain. So <laughs> my train of thought was, so the 110 pound, even 80, you can get bends in some of your cuts because the paper is so thick that you can get like little wrinkle marks. You know how when you put it through your die cut machine, sometimes you get those little tears and wrinkles. You can kind of get this similar with if when you're fussy cutting on 110 pound, I've found. Um, I've never tried to spray it before trimming it. I don't know if that would work. It works for embossing, but. All right, so now, oh, we don't want to throw our leaf away. And I love that this looks like a heart. I just think that's so great. Okay. So now we're not going to use the edge where I smeared my blue off. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, it's real, right? The craft room happenings are super, super real. Now, this would look super cool too, I think, if you took like our, um, trying to think, the darkest, uh, I think it's Sapphire Pigment Ink, stamped it and heat set it because we're using the, um, the blues, but we'll go ahead. I do love me an obsidian stamped sentiment. Those are always just gorgeous. Um, I already used this one. I've used the take care. I think I'm going to do this one. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Um, some of you know I'm in grad school, so that is very apropos at the moment. All right. Got to really focus here. Line it up. Got to focus, focus, focus. All right. So now what you want to do and I may not even need my stems. Um, so then we're just going to bring in. Now, Aram's card had different corners and hers were popped up. So let's put a little. I got my instant dimension foam tape here. That was another turn, I think. Another quick turn. I've got quick turns here. We're on an adventure. So I always apologize for my quick turns. But and I, I'm honest. Like if you guys were in my car with me and we were literally going on a crappy adventure on a ride. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Absolutely, totally true. All right. So here I'll put our tape. Okay. And I'm not going to get obsessive about my tape. I know everybody knows I love the foam tape and I'm terrified of it falling in. I always admit it. Bridget Casey, and I'm addicted to foam tape. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and lay these out and around. Let's see if that helps a little. Okay. So just kind of get your, you know, your placement around. And you may want to put, you know, two layers of foam tape on one so that it sticks up over another. And again, I apologize for my fussy cutting, but my cranky cutting, as I call it. But I really thought I had the ties. That will be an add to cart after this is over. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So then just go along and kind of place your, and you, if you want to have your tails up over your leaves, you can. I think I'm going to tuck my tail, even if it's sticking up there, that's okay. And this one down here can kind of linger. So maybe we will trim this one off because it's going to go behind the other. And this one will tuck down. So, and as you're alternating, you could put some, you know, if you had a thinner foam tape, 
you could put some with that and then some with this. Or you can, like I said, just put double, double the foam tape on some of them. I know with postage, it's always a concern. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Shared. Thank you. You guys just are awesome. I always look forward to these. When we get to hang out, have a little chat and have a little craft. I don't know of a better day. All right. So I'm, yeah, I love, I love non-traditional leaf colors. I just love it. This is our world. We're making it up, my friends. We are making our world. We make the things that we don't see or have, you know, um, like uh, rainbows of flowers on cards. All right. My poor obsidian. I did get another one because it was in stock, but I'm stretching it. Oh, and I'm not even using obsidian. That's why. <laughs> you guys, I need a crafty assistant to help me think. Anybody out there want to, it's a, now, it's a very involved, very difficult job. Just a warning, but if anyone wants to come help me to get my brain crafty working here, we will, uh, I definitely would love a lovely crafty assistant. Now, Emery is a lovely crafty assistant. I'm not saying she's not, but it's those posable thumbs that, you know, get in the way. All right. So then we'll tuck this fella under here. And you can always flip these around. Like, see, I can flip it this way. So I think it tricks your eye a little bit when you flip things around, even though it's the same thing. It doesn't matter because your eye thinks it's different because there's a little bit of a different orientation. Absolutely, Nancy. Use the color that appeals to you. And I think it's funny if you look back through your projects, I think we all go in faces. I think we all have times where we rely on one color family and then another. So here's, <laughs> here's it's rough because of my cranky cutting but here is our first. So you could keep going up. I would if we had more time together, but I would go up and kind of keep those leaves. But definitely um, Aram's card inspired this. Definitely give that a peek because it's, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. It was very inspirational for me and maybe it will be for you as well. Maybe you'll see it and say, oh, that was a really good idea. I'm going to go this direction with it. And that's something we love to see as well, is to see projects that we create and you guys get inspired. All right, now comes this fella. Let's make a lemon and we'll do your the zest. A couple of friends that say they love your color schemes. Well, and Sue, I'm the same. Oh yeah, the sentiment. The sentiment, totally true. You would lead me down more rabbit holes. <laughs> But you know what? We would have a good time. That's all that matters in this space. We have crafty fun. That's it. That is it. Yeah, and I I don't either, Sue. Um, I haven't stuttered, stuttered. I haven't studied, there we go, color theory. And I don't know that I will. I kind of like just pulling things and going with the flow. I like the flow. I like being in the flow, having a flow, you know? It's just fun. You grab what looks good to you. Like uh, Nancy was saying, you grab what looks good in the moment, you know. And so I made a big lime with this as well. Um, I just made a big lime uh, with this. And you can make little watermelons, oranges. This can be a little lime. You can make a little leaf. Watermelon sections, uh, lemon sections, kiwis. I mean, grapefruits, watermelons. I, there's just nothing. I almost wanted to try with this stamp making an avocado. So I, if I figure it out, I will share it. It's in the brain process right now. And I don't know if it's going to make it out alive, but I'm working on it. So I'll let you know as soon as I do. And we will die cut this one. Okay, I know these are so fun. And I just, how can you look at this little fella with his smile or little gal and not smile? I don't know. I just can't do it. This set, I open it, I smile. It just is so happy and so fun to me. So that's what I like to share are things that I'm passionate about. So in our time. All right. 
Okay, so this is the stamp conditioning eraser. You could do a blueberry. Oh my gosh, Sharon, that's genius. And my husband loved blueberries. Oh my gosh, I used to make so many blueberry pies. I have so many pictures. Oh my gosh, that's genius. I love it. I didn't even think of that. Oh my gosh, mind blown, mind blown. I know the color wheels are pretty. The color wheels are super pretty, but that's about it. Once in a blue moon, I'll look. If I have like five or six colors, I'm like, am I really okay? <laughs> or am I causing trouble? What am I doing here? Now these images, these bigger images, um, Altenew does have those uh, stamping mats. Uh, so those are great uh, to put underneath if you're worried about not getting a perfect impression because what the stamping mat does, and I have one of course right here. Am I using it? No. <laughs> it gives a little cushion for your stamp to go down into. So I'll just show you. And if you want a lot of cushion, just leave it rolled up. I do. Mine is stained. It's a little worse for the wear, but you know what? It means it's loved, loved, loved. And um, there's a beautiful one too with all flowers across the bottom. Gorgeous. All right. Now, I never line this up straight. We're going into that with this expectation. Just, I never do. I never do. I don't know why, but I never do. So we used Citrus Burst on the first one. Oh, I'm glad you liked the links. Yay. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, and I should have pre-treated with my stamp conditioning eraser. I did not. So I've skipped over fresh lemon, and I'm going to go right with maple yellow, because why not? And if I had lined this up before, it would have made this a lot easier, and I didn't. So we are free wheeling, as I call it, meaning we're stamping, hand stamping, and we're going wild. I got that from one of those uh, uh, shows on the History Channel. They used to call it freewheeling, and that's kind of what I'm doing. All right, I don't want them to meet exactly, but I don't want them to be close. So, yeah, if we could figure out, oh, that's nice. That's such a compliment. That's so sweet. That is so sweet. Oh, <laughs> I, it always reminds me of Rudy on the Huxtables. I always hear bud. And I, I just, she's the cutest Kishi at Night Pulliam. I talk about her all the time. She's just the cutest thing. And I haven't watched that show in, never mind, we're not doing math. We don't do math on this show. No math. <laughs> not about my personal life, anyways. We can do math about other things, but how long I've been out of high school, the shows I used to watch. We're skipping that math, my dear friends. All right. So I'm going to get my lemon all situated here. And I think this is fun because you can do a super duper simple card with this. You don't have to. We love those cards. You know the cards that take us all day and you make it and you put it on your desk and you say, oh my gosh, I made a thing. Look at this. Like you want to show everybody, even strangers. You're like, look at the card I made. And they're like, and you are. Um, I've been there. Um, yes, my Avril does the math for me. She is my resident mathologist. I don't think that's a word, but I just made it up. <laughs> we make up words here too. We don't do math. We make up words. Okay. So you get a cute little lemon and my circles aren't too bad for freewheeling. Woohoo! Super excited. Okay. So we got that. We had a card base. Here we go. And look, the back is disgusting. Nobody will know. All right. And I think when you do cards like this, when you have a simple layout, it's fun to go down to the four by five and a quarter and then pop up your panel with your little lemon on it. You could go crazy wild too and do some embossing if you wanted to just to add, you know, a little focal point. Um, but we're not going to do that because I wanted to get to that summer wishes and make a set with you guys. Okay, so are we going to do, you could make an eye. Oh, that'd be cool. And Yasu, math, what's that? We'll have to ask Avril. Maybe she can explain. All right, 
So the first few votes I get, the voting question is squeeze of the day or you're the zest. Go guys, go. What are we going to do? I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. And I wish I could put little eyes, but I don't, should we put eyes? Okay. Put if we should do, put an S for squeeze or a Z for zest. And then if we should do eyes, put an E after it. And if not, put an N. Zest. Squeeze. Okay. Zest. Zest. Okay. We're getting the zesties. Unless the squeeze people come up from behind. Uh, it looks like you're the zest. And do we want to put eyes on our lemon? Do we want a little cute smiley face? S. Okay. Squeeze. Uh-oh. The squeezes are catching up on the zest. Zest, no eyes. All right. Now. <laughs> uh, zest. Zest, 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 zest. Okay. We're going with you're the zest. Okay, no eyes. I I'm addicted to those little eyes. They're just so, they're just so friendly and cute. Look, you could build that. If you put the little watermelon seed together a couple times, you have that top of the blueberry. Oh my gosh, that was genius. My mind is blown. My mind is blown today. That is, see, that's why I love crafting with you guys. You guys are crafty geniuses, and I love that you share the same passion and you share all your ideas. I have one coming up. They are so cute. If you're having a bad day, I know I wasn't sure about the eyes either, but I just, they're just so cute. Um, they're, they're, <laughs> There might be something coming up where I laugh maniacally um, at the eyes. So just, just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that. <laughs> okay. Lemon on the right. Lemon on the left. Which side are we going, guys? Lemon on the right. A lemon on the left. We only have one, so we got to pick a side. Pick a side. Pick a side. If you want to go quickly, just an R or an L. Passion equals obsession. Oh, yeah. Especially in crafting because it's all so pretty and all so fun. Left. Okay, left, left, left. Even my um, supervisor yesterday at my school, she's like, I want to learn to craft. It seems so relaxing. And I'm like, you are talking to the right girl. All right, next one decides it after April because we're tied. One more. I need one more to break the tie. Left it is. Ashley broke the tie. Okay. And of course, do we put foam tape? You bet your foam tape we do. Please don't bet with your foam tape. Keep your foam tape because it's delightful. No betting with the foam tape, okay? All right. All right. I think they say bet the farm, right? Is that a saying? I lose track of the sayings. And then, you know, they change. So you try to stay hip as you get older and keep up with what the kids are saying. And uh, sometimes, yeah, it doesn't work. All right. And so we'll put him there. And then uh, we will put this over here. And we're going to try to line it up without getting my big melon in the thing. And it's a little crooked, but that's okay. That's okay. What we can do is we can trim the panel after. I'm going to let my obsidian dry. Now, what you could do, another option, okay, bring out, because this is pocket full of sunshine we used, we have enamel dots. So you could do that, okay, that's an option. The black and white could be a fun option as well. What do we think? Yellow, black, and white. Any votes? First one I get, I'm going to take because I just realized we have like 15 minutes and I wanted to do one more stamp set with you guys. I could craft with you guys all day long. Seriously. Black and white it is. Okay. All righty. All right. I'm so glad. This is like Jeopardy. You guys got to keep your buzzers. You guys got to keep your buzzers ready to go. Okay. Now you can go wild, you know. And you can kind of put them all over the place. You can put one of each. You can, so many options. I think I'm just going to put some in a few different places. So we'll do like a triangle of triangles. That's what I call it. It's the angle position. 
So, and I like to kind of focus them so that my, whatever I'm working on is within my triangle of triangles. Okay. So I'd have that there. I'll probably move those over a little bit. I don't like them over there. I thought I would. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. That will be our card. Um, I may have to trim this a scotch. So I'm not going to stick that down just yet because I stamped a little crooked, but I can trim it down. Put the star in the middle. Oh, that would be cute. Or even you could make the little dots eyes. That would be so cute. Okay. We have a mess on our desk. What do we do? We keep crafting, my loves. We keep crafting. Now, this one is super fun because you got the stencil and you got the stamp set. You got the dies. But I want to show you something fun on this one. Now, I brought out a stamp set and then realized that, A, I put it down someplace and it's stuck in something. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I wanted to show you something. Life is too short to not have eyes. Yes, it is. That's true. It's difficult, difficult, difficult. I have a client that went blind late in life. So, yes. Okay. Um. Here we go. All right. So, if you have a coffee cup, okay. Now, this is not proportionate. We would need a proportionate coffee cup. But I just want to show you where my mind went with this. So, if you have a coffee cup. Okay, let's stamp our coffee cup here. Now, this could be maybe you're on a road trip with your friend, your crafty friends, and you've gone to see the world's largest cup of coffee. Okay, I'm setting the stage here. I'm setting the stage. And then because it's a, you know, breakfast place, they have some croissants there. This looked like a croissant to me. So maybe it's a baby croissant, but that looked like croissant to me. So maybe something you guys can make a project. If you make a project with the shell rant, we're going to call it the shell croissant. <laughs> Let me know. I would love to see it. I haven't had time to develop the idea yet, but I think it's a fun idea. All right. This is going to mimic a little bit uh, the card I did originally but i just want to show you i know the chair the chair the chair we can stamp the chair as well and you could always now if you're gonna die cut this a tip 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 oh yes bagels 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 i always remember from gremlins the uh, <laughs> beagle 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 or deagle 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 one or the other <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe apparently i don't remember because i'm like oh i remember and then I can't remember. All right. So what I'm going to do, I just want to stamp the chair. But when you do this at home, lay down your die because remember, fiddly bit. You don't want to stamp it, color it, get it ready, and then you were off center or your stamp was curved. Use that old trick where you put the die down, you put your stamp into it, and then do it. So what we're going to do, I just want the chair. Um, it's, you know, it's a cloudy day in Maine and I know the sun is more dangerous on those days because people don't think about it, but we're going to go, you know, we go wild here. So we're just going to go with it. And I just want the chair. I don't want the umbrella. So I'm going to lazy mask it. Okay. And then hopefully I cleaned my stamp. Fingers crossed. Everybody cross those fingers. Hopefully I cleaned the stamp. Ta-da! So you don't have to have an umbrella. Or if you want the umbrella, you could stamp just the umbrella if you mask the chair. So really, you got two images here. Because of the way they designed it, super, super lot of options. All right. So for our card panel, we are going to go nuts and wild and have some fun. And I'm going to double up the shells. We've got about 10 minutes before we are done. So we should be screeching over the finish line here. So just basically create with the different shells, including our croissant. Put that over there. And the thing with this is, you know, rotate them. Okay. Put them upside down. Move them off the page. 
and move them around because that way even if you stamp it next to each other well that i did exactly like you don't want to do that oh yes lacy masking yes yes if i i always say if i wasn't bridget casey designs i would be the lazy crafter because it's just it's so nice <laughs> it's just terrific now what i do like to do when i'm not you know watching a clock um I do like to put these, I take a few minutes and I figure out the position um, that I like on a block. And then I just stamp it once or twice across my panel and I've got them all set. So, but you just want to fill up your panel. So I think, stamp a couple more of these. And the good thing is, because it doesn't really matter where you stamp them, and I love the sand dunes because it doesn't seem to fight, meaning it doesn't hog the attention. It's not like, hey, look at me. I'm super bright and way out there. It's just kind of understated, which I love. Okay. Hello from Maine. Yay! I have a Mainer. I don't see a lot of other Mainers, so it's very exciting. We also have in these, we also have the uh, stencils. You can stencil the shells if you wanted to. You could go in and add color, okay? For this one, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my limestone, another sharp right here. I like those sharp rights, apparently. I am a safe driver though, safe driver. Oh, going to Florida, Woohoo! You will have, this will be a cute card. If you're staying in an Airbnb to leave as a thank you card or cute for family. And I love that this covers my hat. I don't have to worry about my hat, but I know it's gonna be a little darker. So I'm gonna just for ease, I'm using limestone and I'm just gonna have kind of a light gray chair. The great thing is we have these Adirondack chairs in New England. We have lots of them, different colors, everything. So this is the main, the slats of the chair. These are the arms. And then it gives you like where the slats join. So it would be a little bit darker there. So I'm gonna make it a little darker. But yeah, in Maine, we have every Adirondack chair color you can imagine. Typically they are white traditionally. My stepfather built one from wood, but traditionally they're usually white, but hey, go wild with color. And then our hat, let's go, I'm going rogue again. Let's go, let's have a red hat. Let us have a beautiful red hat. Why not? We're on the beach. Let's live it up. Let's show everybody, look at my hat. It's pretty, okay. <laughs> and I've never said that, so <laughs> look at my hat. It's pretty until today, all right. So I'm lining this up super quick. Now, use your satin masking tape. <laughs> do not do what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, my lovelies. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold that down. All right. And then my nails are colored beautifully. So we've got a red hat. And just because I'm gonna pop on a pretty blue band because in the States, we just had the 4th of July. So red, white, and blue. And I'm considering my gray as the white. So we'll have a little bit of a patriotic feel here. I think all of our patriotic days are over for the year, I think. I can't remember. My brain's not working. And then this, all you do, run it under some water. It comes right off, you know. Oh, you're in Western Maine. Oh, I'm, well, I'm technically in Central. So I'm close to the University of Maine in Orono. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I hide out. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, when I go over here first, what are we doing? I got so excited by all of you being here. I, I never have had 42 people in my craft room before. It's very exciting. So, you know, this is great because it allows me to have 42 people over my craft room. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. And then this, hey, we have like six minutes. What are we going to do? We're going to die cut out. <laughs> oh, 
gosh. Behind the all new badge, there may be some head shaking. All right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, goodness. She's going wild. I do. I do. I go a little wild. All right. Now, this is just going to cut out a little extra because remember, but you want to get that because it's a fiddly bit, a little bit, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, good. Oh, good. I didn't scare anybody behind the bed. <laughs> They're enjoying our quick right sharp hand turns here. Okay, and I'm not gonna fidget. I'm not sure if it fits in the mini blossom. It looks like, uh, no, just by a scotch, but you may be able to fidget with it. But we're counting down the time, unfortunately, all of my dear friends. Do, 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 do. We need some music when we're die cutting. We need die cutting themed music. Some like chase scene die cutting music. Now see, all I'm gonna do is just trim that off and because the others are trimmed as close, you know, eh, it doesn't, who's gonna know? Unless you tell them. I have a couple dear friends that will point out their mistakes in their cards. So unless you tell them, they won't know. We will never tell. We keep secrets here when we craft together. Now, because I didn't finish off my little section there, I could put my chair over here and like my sentiment down here. So it's got, oh, let's, we don't have many of these in Maine. Uh, maybe in Western Maine, do you guys have sun? Do you guys get sun often over there? That's a question, I don't know. Um, all right. I haven't, my brother used to guide in Western Maine, but I've never been really, I don't think, I've been north, then south. I'm kind of east-ish, but not like to Eastport. That's very east-ish, as you may have guessed by the name Eastport. <laughs> I just realized how silly that sounded. Oh gosh, you guys. You guys know me though. You guys know. You guys know. All right. So there. So that would be, we did pretty good. We got three-ish cards with cranky cutting done. I do have to trim our lemon up and I am going to wiggle those enamel dots because I'm not super stoked about the enamel dots where I placed them. I should have practiced a little bit with my, well, not practiced, planned playing with my enamel dots. All right. Now don't shriek when you see the messiness. I've been hiding it off. This little 12 inches looked beautiful. And then I went out. <laughs> now this one, what I would do, okay, this one, what I was saying, I'll put foam tape and pop it up off the back. And another idea of what you could do you could color oh yes steel cranky cutting let's 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 spread it across the crafting community because it it most people do get cranky you could either color it in with um alcohol markers you could just pull it across you know the sides and then pop it up or you could ink blend if you were going to ink blend i probably would use fresh lemon for this but if you wanted to use a coordinating color with yellow, you could. But I would pop it up so you have some dimension because it's nice and simple. Um, so kind of want to go with that. But so we'll put our card, flip our card back over. And I will post these later in the, just forgive my cranky cutting. Oh, near Shawnee Peak. Okay. I need to get that stamp set. July is usually gray and foggy all month. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are the best. And I just, again, I craft with you all day. It's fun to do this and kind of craft on the fly as it is because I I like coming in with, um, call it a general idea, um, and then, you know, go with uh, like your input and see what, where you guys want to go with it. Because that's why we're here to craft together. So it's really fun to get your input. So I hope you had fun today. I will be back on Monday. Not sure what we're doing on Monday just yet. So it'll be a surprise to you and I. So, <laughs> but we will do something crafty, something fun. And as always, it'll be an adventure. Looking forward to next time already. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. And I hope you make something beautiful this weekend. And I'll see you very, very soon. From all of us at Alt New, thank you so much for letting us help you craft your life. Bye, guys.